Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the Daily Grind for Thursday. Right, and we are going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks for lighting your photographs. It is super cold in Dallas, so we decided to take this moment and show you about lights. We've gotten approximately 15,001 questions about how to do lighting for retail photography. Yeah. Whoa. And so we're gonna take the time this morning to show you I am a lighting designer for the theater and I'm gonna use that skill set and translate it into reselling for you and how you can get your photos looking great for not a lot of money, just a little bit of understanding. All right, let's turn this thing around and show everybody how to do it. So here we are at the computer. I'm gonna tell you the basics of lighting because once you understand how light works, I know it sounds simple, but it, it's a little bit complex. But once you understand how it works, you can use that to your advantage. It's not about having the most expensive equipment. It's not about having the best lights on the market. It's about knowing how to use the light that you do have. Okay, so we're gonna jump to the computer. This is a light lab simulation that we use in the theater all the time, and now we're gonna use it for reselling. Okay, so we're gonna start here with front light. This is the light that most people have, either a ring light or something that you're pointing directly at the object. So when we bring on the front light, we can see that these people are lit up. Think of these people like your mannequins. Okay, so we have these really harsh shadows behind them, and I think, you know, if, this is, uh, if these people were standing back against this uh, white wall, the shadows would be on the wall. And most people think, oh, there's, there's deep shadows, I need more light. But watch what happens to the shadows as I decrease the light. The shadows go down too. Shadows are only a contrast. So the more light you throw at something from the same direction, the more your shadows are gonna get intense. So it's totally counterintuitive. So what we do is we do what's called a three-point lighting system, and we light from the tops on the sides. So what you want to do is add two lights on each side if you have them and I'll sh we're going to show you this in real life but it so front light from the side at a 45 degree angle we're going to add that in ah now you can see what's happening on the floor here to the shadows but more importantly you can see what's happening to the like the front of this guy's shin the front of his arm it's catching all of these details which your clothes really need if you're just lighting from the front it's going to look flat okay but look what happened to the shadows behind them those shadows are canceled out from this light coming in at a 45 degree angle so let's try it on the other side so we're going to bring this up ah see look what's happening look at these shadows behind them now those shadows are non-existent for the most part. We do have other shadows in the room, but that's okay. That's not what you're mainly taking a photo of. But what's most important here is to see that these people are evenly lit now. Watch when I take it out again. See how dark this is? We bring it up again. All of a sudden, this her leg in all of this part becomes in view. It's also giving it some dynamics, meaning that we're not just seeing it from the front we're seeing all these kind of curves and if there's any sparkles we'll see that any kind of texture it will bring that out so those are the most important lights that's a simple three-point lighting system in this kind of arrangement if you wanted to add backlight meaning you wanted to add a light focused on your backdrop and kind of to outline these guys this is what happens So they start to pop out from the background a little bit and your shadows on that back wall are almost in completely gone because of the light that you've added that's bouncing off of this white and hitting them in the back. And that lets, if you bring your dress form or your mannequin a little bit away from the photo wall that you're taking a picture of, it can allow your garment to pop off that wall instead of recede into it. So I think this shows you the basics of what light can do, but now let's show you in real life what our lights do. Okay. Okay. One more thing. I wanted to show you about color temperature and beam because this is essential. So the color temperature of a light matters. So if you're just screwing in a light bulb into a desk lamp, fine, that can work great, but your color temperature matters. We are looking for this 5,500 to 6,500 K, this noon hour, this is called daylight. We're looking for that because that reflects, you know how when you take a picture outside, it almost always looks great? 
it's because it's a daylight. So if we can replicate that with our light bulbs, you can buy these at hardware stores or wherever. They're called cool white or daylight. We're aiming to be in this vicinity, this blue vicinity right here. If your pictures aren't coming out, so if you're taking something, a picture that's blue and it's like looking black or it's not looking blue at all, it may be looking green. So you need to balance that out. So maybe your color temperature needs to, to stick more to the 3500s instead of the 5500s because blue on top of blue will intensify that color and make it look almost black. So you do the lights that we have, we can adjust the temperature on, but that's a really hot tip. Hot tip. If your clothing color isn't coming out correctly, you might need the opposite. Okay. And then I want to show you about beam. So if you're using a desk lamp, that would be like a spotlight and the beam is very, very narrow. So if you're pointing that at a mannequin and you're trying to cover a large area, you're going to get a little hot spot because this thing, look at this hot spot right here. Okay, it's not gonna cover enough. You're gonna need many, many, many of these. If you're using what's called a floodlight, which is what we use, the beam is much wider. The only problem with a floodlight is if you're very, very close, look how bright it is here. So a floodlight, you need to either turn down the intensity or back way off of your garment, or you're gonna get a hot spot and you're gonna overexpose. And a lot of people have those big, lights with the big thing on them and that's a floodlight and it's dispersing all the light evenly which is great but they put them way too close to the garment and so you get these crazy hot spots so that that big contraption the umbrella and everything else that's meant to diffuse the light so you need to come back maybe like six to ten feet in order to give that garment an adequate even wash of light so that you don't end up in this hot spot you want to be right here instead of right here that Hopefully makes sense. that makes sense. All right, let's show them the real thing. Action. Hi. We have turned off our overhead lights so you can see what lights do to this fabulous mannequin we got. And this is what most people have, I think. <clears throat> that I think is a lot of people have a ring light. Standard issue ring light. So most people do this, right? They stand right here. Black is a very hard color to photograph. Yes, yes it is. So they stand here. The shadow is kind of a halo shadow, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then they take this picture. And they're like, okay, I'll put it in photo room. Fine, I'll show you what happens. I'll show you. Yeah, I'll just show see you. see if I can get a picture or a view of that halo shadow you're talking about. Oh, yeah, you can totally see that. Okay, and here's our photo room. It's not terrible. But I get no details. I get no details from this. Like, I just, I don't know anything about this dress. Right. Okay? Nothing. All right. These are the lights we have been using from Amazon. We will link them below. They are $15 each, and they come in a two-pack for, like, 30 bucks. They are floodlights, and they are RGB, CCT, meaning they do all the colors in all of the world. Awesome. Yeah. For our purposes, they do a warm white, a cool white. They do all the whites. And we always want a cool white for the most part. And they do that. They're 15 watts. So they don't draw a lot of power, but they put out a ton of light. This is a floodlight. It is meant for outside of your house to like light up your house. <laughs> so as I was telling you before on the computer, if you pull back on a floodlight, you can, one of these lights can light the, the front facade of a house. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. if I take this light, I'm going to show you and I get really, really close any light that's a floodlight okay if you get really really close to your object these are these little remotes okay we're gonna get a hot spot and we're gonna get some wicked shadows oh yeah i can see that okay so what we want to do as a practice is to back up okay look at how much cleaner yeah that is now if you're too low you get a shadow up top okay right yep if you're too high you get a shadow underneath the sleeves and it looks like they continue where they don't Okay. If you yep. line this light up exactly with the mannequin, like oh, that, yep. and then you take your photo with your phone right here, you can get some magic going on with one light. It gets okay. better, though. It does. It gets how does it way get, better. How does it get better? We have these side lights, like I showed you on the computer. Okay. So they're hang up here. One's here. It's not pretty, guys. It is not pretty, but... It's there. Okay. There and it's it is. coming at a 45 degree angle. And yep. all of a sudden, this sleeve, these, these, um, what do you call it, creases, 
everything becomes more apparent because we're getting some light from this side. You can see it on the side of her face and all of this starts to have detail now. We have one up here that gets the other side. Okay. So if I step out of the way, you can see all the shadows. You can see where the light is coming from. But did you see how much less this front shadow became because we have the side light? Oh, wow. Okay. So all of the sudden, if I hold this as front light and we have side light and I use my camera on my phone, I'm going to show you like real time. If this was me making this thing, you can click on here. You can brighten this so that you don't have shadows and you still have the detail because that light is there. I prefer not to do that. I prefer to take the shadows, those light shadows out in photo room. Yeah, I, I, know how I much do the same thing. It helps. I think it helps keep the contrast and the colors a little more accurate. <laughs> well, it kind of blows out a black. So this is how I do it to keep a black a black. Okay. Okay, so if I'm going to do this, I'm going to take a photo, line this guy up, and then I'll, we'll put in screenshots so you can see the difference. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to add in the backlight. Okay. Oops. Oh, wait, I turned it off. One remote does all the lights. It's pretty great. Yes! Okay. <clears throat> I like this because it gives a more artistic flair and that the garment comes off the back wall. Look how evenly lit this is. That looks really, really good. So if I line this right up, all of a sudden, from I, I hope this is translating to your camera, but I can see all the folds in the fabric. I can see the ruching. I can see the drop V. I can see the slit at the bottom, which I mm -hmm. couldn't see before. It all kind of went away. Yeah. I'm getting pretty professional results. I'm not even adjusting my phone, which is the greatest part. Okay, so now we're back. We've turned on the overhead lights and we're gonna do a simulation of what your photos could look like compared to the first one where it was just the ring light. Now we're gonna show you when you have all of your three point or four point lighting set up, how much more detail you can get out of a black garment or any garment. Okay, we've turned off the ring light. All we're working with is our overhead lights. I'm gonna show them those. Oh they're, yeah, they're UFOs. garage lights. Yeah, that's why one of the reasons it's so insanely bright in here is we have these LED garage lights that are they have like these blades. There you go. That's what they look like. And it's the brightest light you've ever seen. They're super cheap on Amazon and they fit in a regular light socket, a bulb socket. Yeah. They're great. They don't help us with photography at all. No. You'll see top light is not your friend, but since most of you have to have the lights on in your house while you're working, we're going to work with the top light and yep. we're going to show you what we can still do. Right. Okay. So yeah, this is just the top light. You can see all these gnarly shadows down here at the bottom. Gnarly. All right. So we're going to start with our front light. Okay. Okay. Or that one or that one <laughs> and that one. Okay. They're all on. They're we've all got on. our back light. We've got our two side lights, our top light and our front light. Okay. So I'm going to hold this here. Okay. Now, you guys watching, so watch, if I hold it too high or too low, I get gnarly shadows everywhere, right? So hopefully you can see from behind me that if I hold it right at head level, that's great. Does that yeah, translate yeah, yeah, for you? you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take this picture. You guys are not going to believe the difference because you're like, this is just a black garment. It still looks lit. Let me photo room this. Photo room is an app. If I haven't mentioned it, you really should get it. It's free. There's a free version. Okay. Let me show you my camera roll. We'll put these, we'll put these there for you to see. Ugh. Can you see my thing? Okay. This is just with the ring light. You guys, it's like flat. It looks like a paper doll. Like you can't see any of the detail in this dress. Like none of it. And this is like a gorgeous designer dress. You can see nothing, right? It looks like a like I took a Sharpie and I just drew flat. Yep. I'll zoom it. I'll try to put it up and zoom it in. Okay, cool. And here's the one we just took. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how distinct this slit is right here. Even though it's black on black, you can see how far it goes up. Look at the ruffles here. You can see this lady's boobies. Like she has actual shape. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the color distinction. Wow. It makes such a difference. So not only can you eliminate shadows and whatever, but you can take $60 and turn it into a top-notch lighting kit or use any light. You can use any light. If you have a daylight light bulb, 
and just get the right angle and the right far back and you can use those clip on like desk lights you don't have to be fancy and these lights surely are not fancy and they're surely not meant for photography yeah that's for sure <laughs> but that's my point is that it doesn't matter what the equipment is a lot of people get hung up i don't have the right lights and they spend more money and more money trying to fix the problem when it's really a theory problem okay. you don't understand the basics behind lighting which I didn't either until I went to grad school for it. So this can help sell your garments because whether you know it or not, subconsciously, if you're looking at a flat Sharpie drawn black garment or any kind of garment is not going to be as appealing as something that has dimension. And oh, that's, that's really what you're trying to look for. And that's what I'm trying to show you here today. If you like this, and want more content about lighting, this is the very, very basics. We could get into much more. Uh, let us know below and maybe we could do a dedicated video for you in a bigger space and show <laughs> we could like rent a studio for a day or yes. something and show you some real, real cool tricks. But anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Thanks so much and we will get to shipping right now. Hi. All right, we've got all of our stuff here at the shipping station. It is using a hair dryer to take stubborn stickers off. If you guys don't know about the hair dryer trick, it works. Oh! Girl, they can't hear you. <laughs> he tried. I tried. Uh, so I'm taking off these stickers, and the hair dryer is the quickest and fastest. There is some residue left on these, but I'm going to use some Goo Gone on a Q tip and get them off. But I'm telling you guys, the hair dryer, we keep one in our office, this like office dryer. It works. It does. It makes it, it much easier. Okay. See, I'm, I'm going to do this because I can't use the hair dryer again because everyone's here. <laughs> okay, let's start. We'll just do that. We'll do those later. Okay. All right. Also, we have these peeler things. Oh, we should sell these. We should. We're going to. At some point. You guys, if we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're going <laughs> to make these available for you. We 3D print them. They're little peelies. You guys want these, right? Of course they do. Look at that. Wait, they can't see. Look at that. Hustle. <laughs> yes. And it hangs on your pegboard. You definitely want these. I know you do. We make them at home. Help us get to 10,000. We'll hand them out. I'll, I'll throw them from our roof. Yeah, you will. I'll be like Mardi Gras up in here. <laughs> We're going to be awesome. Thank you guys for subscribing. A lot of you reached out and realized that you weren't subscribed and that was awesome. Yeah, we got a nice little jump yesterday. Much appreciated. And some people were like, I watch it on my TV and I never <laughs> even thought of that. We're on people's TVs. That's crazy. Y'all, that's weird. Right. Would you like to tell the people about this wonderful right, trade equi you. equipment trade shirt? You. Okay, yeah, this is... Make sure the labels come through nice. Nice. Okay, come close, it come close. I got it, I got it, you just, I got it. Yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna focus here. This is equipment, Tabitha Simmons. And equipment, the size large, equipment is hit or miss, but as you can see, this kind of see, it's a black sheer shirt with flowers on it. I think the reason this sold, and it sold for $50. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. Yep. Let me see if your head's cut off. Because your head's way cut off and you're not in focus anymore. Oh, Sorry. man. I got you. All right. Oh, At good. least you checked for focus. And did that happen before? It did. Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't know until we were, I was uploading the video. Right. You should have told me. It was me. only for a little, a little section. No, we're fine. trying, you know. We're just trying <laughs> the best we can. Um, anyway, I put that this shirt looked familiar because... It looked like the shirt that the girl was wearing on you. I don't want to give any spoilers away. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I but I, I tagged, you know, I just put this tag of the show you. It looked like a trendy style that one of the main actresses wore in the show. Yep. And I think that's what did it. Because equipment hasn't been moving for us that much. That's true. It was a really nice shirt, though. It was all silk. Can't be mad at that, you know. Right. All right, let's see what this sucker weighs. Come on, scale zero. I know, go. it's been having some problems. It's cranky. This guy is four ounces. Y'all, it is less than 30 degrees in Dallas today, and this never <laughs> happened. Yeah, it is. What's it like where you live? It's 30 degrees outside right now. It's very, very cold. Mojo is on the heating pad. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with himself. And our house is 100 years old, so it's not so best at heating. The insulation's not so good. Not yeah. so good. All right. 
So this is what it looks like when you try to do it with your hand. It's Yay. terrible. Heat it up. Okay, what's next? Next is, this is a vintage Mitsubishi television remote control. You guys haven't seen one of these in quite a while, huh? <laughs> We pick up all remote controls. Oh, you know what? Lighting day. The way you can test a remote, put batteries in it and turn out the lights, and then see if the little red doo -doo 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 comes on. That's true. Mm -hmm. Lighting day here on the Hustle Bubble <laughs> channel. Who knew? So this remote control sold for 20 bucks. And when I said we pick up all remote controls, I cut myself off. We pick up our remote controls at like the bins or like a grab bag situation. We don't pay for them. Yeah, if they're like a dollar or yeah. less. Okay. And not direct TV remotes. Don't do that. Don't yeah, do that to yourself. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Don't do Will that. Does this fit in this bubble? Or? Nothing fits in those bubbles. As soon as we made that comment, somebody was like, I use those all the time for costume jewelry. <laughs> oh, maybe like, we oh. could give them to her. <laughs> There's always, something always works for somebody. Just because it doesn't work for you, doesn't mean it doesn't work for somebody else. That's why I don't blindly follow YouTube. Yeah. And you guys shouldn't either. <laughs> take a little bit from here, take a little bit from there, and then make your own. Adapt what works for you. Yeah, man. Okay, this remote control is four ounces. How much did it sell for? $20. $20. $20. And I'm sure we paid a couple of cents for it. You know, those are the good... I think it might have actually been free. Maybe free. And those are the kind of sales we also like because we're kind of helping somebody out. We're, like, keeping that out of a landfill because who's going to buy that except a reseller? Like, who's going to find the perfect TV remote for them? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, what are these? Lulu these are Lululemon dark gray golf pants. Are these men's pants? Yes, they are. So, where did we find these? At Goodwill. The only way that I was able to recognize that these were Lululemon pants was the small logo on the button. Yeah, sometimes they're sneaky. They're very, and it's actually on the inside. So, on the inside of the button, you can kind of see... I'm trying to get it to logo right there you can kind of see it okay what's your uh, what's your opinion what's your take on lululemon these days uh just don't overprice it these sold for 30 plus shipping i think it was 8.99 shipping which we won't probably need i don't know how much i don't know these went. are borderline I think, heavy. you know, the Align leggings will always do well right yeah, now. Yeah, these are over a pound, so these are going to have to go. It is going to Massachusetts, so regional would not be in our best interest. Okay. Um, so we are going to put it in a flat rate envelope. These flat rate envelopes that are paper are cheaper than the padded ones. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use those. And if you need a little help getting a pair of pants or something slightly thicker into one of these envelopes what i do i just kind of flatten out the bottom like that kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a boxy shape to it this is not a rule break this is a if it fits it ships just because it's called flat rate it doesn't have to be flat <laughs> exactly right i think there's a lot of oh i want to put a sticker oh a sticker i'm sorry <laughs> i don't like the number to show okay okay all right, now we've got these in here, and we are able to fold the top back over nicely, like so. With a nice C bend. And there you have it. Flat rate envelope. Okay. What next? Next is the video games. Okay, so we got a bunch of these video games. You know, I think we have probably, I don't know, 80. <laughs> and so 
So I just listed the ones that had a sell-through rate. If there was some with no solds, I didn't list them. And we got them for free. But free does not mean it's good to put in your store. Free means check the sell-through rate. And then they sold overnight. Not for a lot. Yeah. They sold for $8. And to be totally honest, we were expecting these to not sell at, at all. At all. <laughs> uh, I would like to inform you that these are, I think, can be shipped media mail? PC games? Okay. Let me check. And it's just going to Texas. Perfect. So even media mail should get there pretty... Quickly. Yeah. Do not meet media mail requirements. Nope. No, ma'am. Okay. You want to, should we try to put these in a little box so the jewel cases don't get destroyed? No, they really are. That's the best thing we ever did. Oh, I think that might be too small. No way. No. <laughs> Since when can you can't ship CDs? It's weird. Yeah, this is uh, this is too small, believe it or not. Just barely. Sending video games in digital drives. I guess this is a video game. It's a computer game. Okay. I'm sure we could have sent this, but we're not going to risk it. I mean, the difference between the media mail rate and the first class postage rate for these is probably... 50 cents or something. Yeah, yeah. So. There's all these Reddit <sighs> threads on technicalities. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. they can help us get more subscribers because our subscriber list is shockingly low it's fine. <laughs> uh what you can do since you've 10 ounces 10. since you've already all subscribed is tell your friends that are resellers that we are here dealing out hot tips every day hot tips i think and Where if you if you do that then dan will stop saying hot tips <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> i will never stop Oh man, let us know if the lighting part is helpful. I'm thinking of making a standalone video so it doesn't get buried in the shuffle. But I feel like that a lot about the hot tips, they get buried. Yeah, I, I think. Maybe people just potential. have to binge watch it. Okay. Wait, no, no, honey. You forgot we're on a channel here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, this is a Yeti. I'm just packing. <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> this was new at the... We you got know. that at the bins, right? Look, that is, no, we got the Goodwill or something. It's new, but it has some, like, branding on it. Energy, transfer, I don't know, reserve. Okay, whatever. It's a Yeti. It's new. It has the uh, stuff inside of it. The packing. What do you call this? The manual? I don't know what you call it. Whatever, the manual. So it's brand new, uh, but it does have branding. So that affects the value tremendously. So we ended up selling this for $16 plus, I think, nine shipping. And I was happy to take it because I wasn't sure it was ever going to sell. The There was no comps, but all the other ones with branding didn't sell. So I'm glad it sold. That's how I feel. That one's a good one. Looks oh, pretty oh, good. Oh, oh. Looks pretty good. Y'all having, yes. right, having the right yes. box. There's no better feeling. It's like Christmas morning when we can reach in and get the right box. Yep. Our next sale is a very special. 
you'll see why in a minute. I am gonna start preparing this somehow. Okay. Also, the workroom's getting a lot of action. It really is. We've had a lot of new people. Thanks for joining. If you need some listing friends, we list every night from 7 to 10, our time. Uh, so we're central time. <coughs> Come on and list with us or take photos or do whatever you need to do to get your work done. You put this in here with these on it. My goodness. Oh, Sorry. I didn't My even notice that that happened. Goodness. Sorry about that. Fine. Everything's fine, everybody. <laughs> we did get, somebody recommended the mainstays. Super stickies. Super stickies. I think it was our friend Rebel. Maybe. And they're good. I will say. I don't like disposable, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta. I'm doing a secret mission over here that you can't see. Where'd you put that? Where'd you put that? Where'd you put that? All right, can you hand me an air pocket? I've got them. Perfect. Look how quick that went when we have the materials we need. <laughs> Seriously. Makes a difference. Hold up. Okay. Okay, what does this guy weigh? Let's see. Oh man, one pound, four ounces. <laughs> what? Yep. No. Yep. I think he paid nine bucks for shipping. Nine six four. So that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. And with a box this this small, just barely over a pound, even priority I mean the priority rate will not be that bad. And you're lid rolling. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> this thing, you know, needed it. Mm -hmm. I will say that this is kind of affecting the... Um, Alright, this sale is going out to Great Britain. Alright. When I'm prepping. Mm -hmm. Hey, Walmart sticky paper. <laughs> it's messing up on me. Hey. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Struggling. All right, we're gonna stick that guy in a big poly mailer and then back into the box. Okay, so I'm trying to get some of this off here, but I'm not sure that this isn't kind of like altering the fluff. Yeah. A little bit. So it's kind of wrongly. <clears throat> Uh, this, I'm gonna fold it up nice. Mm -hmm. It just catches everything, you know? Yeah. So let me wipe down the counter and make sure that that's not gonna contribute to our situation. Can you check it for me? Okay, so a couple of days ago, I'm gonna stop swinging up at the end of my sentences, I promise. Uh, a couple of days ago, we showed you our mannequin and we showed you that we were putting a coat on it to answer a customer question. That customer purchased the coat. Yes. I'm telling you, people are like, oh, it jinxes me when I answer customer questions, until it doesn't. All right, this person is from the UK and they paid $110 for this coat, but to us, and plus $12.99 shipping, so $120 something dollars. But to get it to the UK from eBay's rates for global shipping, they paid like almost $200 for this coat. So of course, if you're gonna pay $200 for a coat, you want more pictures, of course you do. Of course, we're gonna take time out of our day and show you everything you need to know. <laughs> so hopefully it all works out. Normally with global shipping, once Kentucky gets it, it's out of our hands. Yep. And even if the person wants to return, uh, eBay takes care of it for us. And if they don't, Sometimes they don't automatically, and you just reach out to eBay for business, and uh, we say, hey, it's global shipping. We need some protection, and then they protect you. 
Like, That's oh, right. you're right. You do. <laughs> so eBay is not the enemy most of the time. If you just reach out, most of the time we find that they're like, oh, yeah, okay. Computers aren't perfect. They don't catch everything. So global shipping protection is part of the global shipping program and why we use it. We do not ship internationally any other way. Ever. Period. Full stop. Yeah. I just washed wash this so you could put this here. Hilarious. I appreciate it. Mm. This is a very nice coat. Yep. Yeah. I didn't want to leave it as a thrift. I remember I almost did too. I was like, eh, no, I'll get it. Like, was it too expensive or you just thought it would be too much? And you Both. Should? Like, I didn't, I didn't know the brand and it was like 12 or $14 and... <laughs> This is a cashmere coat. So we sell a lot of cashmere coats and we check them really, really thoroughly to make sure there are no holes. What we don't sell a lot of is cashmere sweaters. Right. You have to be very, very careful. You can't just pick up cashmere sweaters. I would say nine out of 10 times we do, there's a hole in it. Ah! What? I wanted you to leave a room. I always try to leave room in case they need to cut into it and they don't want to cut the garment. There we go. Leave a little bit of room. Perfect. I'm going to have to take it. Medium flat rate. <clears throat> so we're going to lose a little money on shipping. A little bit, like a dollar thirty or something. Well, if they they paid twelve ninety nine, right? Yeah. So this will be like thirteen thirty or something. Okay. So it's not bad. Not too bad. Again, our base prices for those of you new, we do four ninety nine for first class, eight ninety nine for priority, and twelve ninety nine for anything above and beyond. You know, shoes, coats, and it all pretty much shakes out at the end. Uh, we do have a $15 and up shipping option, ground shipping for larger, heavier, bulkier stuff like electronics and that kind of stuff. But for the most part, we, we use our three shipping uh, policies that covers the vast majority of our shipments. <clears throat> okay. Hey, okay, we have one Poshmark. Going out to our friend Melissa. Medium flat rate. Thank you. If you guys see anything in our videos you want to buy, just let us know. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is a turntable that she's going to use for our Poshmark sales. And she asked somebody, that's another thing in our group. So he's like, does anybody have an electronic turntable? We're like, actually we do. And we're not using it. And so we listed it on Poshmark. She bought it. And now we're going to ship it out. What priority box is that going to go in? We don't have any. Better that fat. I'll find one. Give me one second. Maybe a medium flat rate. The other way. Um. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. I'm gonna get these labels printed out. Bag pipes. <laughs> We use a flat lay system for taking pictures of a lot of clothing, and we're going to show you that tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe so that you get a notification. We've had a lot of questions about lights and flat lays. So we're going to show you what we do tomorrow. Okay, this is the equipment top. It's in the purple. I'm not worried about that equipment top just like flopping around like that. Computer games. The 
cashmere coat. So with global shipping, we're just paying to get this to Kentucky. And then they poured it on from there. Uh, the Yeti. And the Lululemon pants. Okay. I don't feel great about this. <laughs> it's a silk top. It's just flapping around in this thing. I just, nope. Mm -mm. Nothing about me feels great about this. If it's gonna keep me up at night, I'd rather just fix it. Should put it in a, a we don't have any bubble mailers the right size, but that's what we should order from eBay. eBay. You know? Yeah. Like this size bubble mailer. I don't know if the medium is gonna fit that thing. We might have to use this large. It doesn't matter, it's Poshmark. Yep. Love Poshmark for that reason. Yes. Contrary to popular belief, you can use a flat rate box. that in some bubble, some big bub, probably. Oh, what, is the, what are you, what, oh. It doesn't have a clean tear like the little one does. I'm gonna do one this way, whoa, excuse me. I'm gonna do one the other way. Okay. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Tape King. ASMR segment. Mm -hmm. oh. There we go. I love that everyone loves the tape segments. I know, right? And there we have it. Off to the post office. Yeah. It's moment with mojo time. Stretch it out, buddy. You got something to say? I got to go to the post office. Oh. Get away from my snacks. Get away. All right, you guys. I am parked out in front of the post office, and I'm going to try to show you how to use the self-service kiosk just inside to scan your packages as received. All right, let's go. All right, so this is what the self-service kiosks at your post office should look like. And I'm gonna show you just the quick, easy process to scan these in. That's all you do right there, right there. And that's it. And then the scanner is down here. That's all there is to it.
right, you guys, we are back from the post office, dropping off all the packages. Uh, hope that you were able to see what I was doing with the self-service machine as far as scanning everything in. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments below, and I will try to do a better job next time. So now we get to find out what we really made. What did we really make today? We're about to find out. All right, so I'm gonna put these into Vendu, each and every one, one at a time. If you use Vendu, hopefully this is helpful for you. SKU number 3806, here it is. I go to eBay, Marcus sold. We sold these for $38.99, all in. The cost we paid was $7.99. We don't pay sales tax on this because we have a reseller certificate for Texas. The fees were $5.16, <clears throat> and the shipping for us was $7.52. So we made $18.32 profit on those pants. Not too shabby. Next, uh, the Yeti. I'm interested to see what happens here. Because I kind of sold this at a low price. Just to get the conversion? Yeah, because it had the branding on it, and there was no solds with branding. Okay. So I was a little worried that it wouldn't go. So $24.99 all in. So they paid a lot of shipping, I guess, because it was heavy. We marked it up. We did get this at the bin, $0.74. Cents. Marketplace fees were three fifty six dollars to eBay, and the shipping we actually paid was eight eighty five, dollars So that worked out to be perfect. Eleven eighty four dollars on that. All right, not, not bad. Not bad, considering there were no solds. Right. All right, here comes the cashmere coat. Whoa. <laughs> you went a little, little click happy there. I know. I forgot to do a screen record of this. I'm sorry. That's fine. We'll get it better next time. Okay, we're going to go to eBay. Marcus sold. Sold for $122.99, all in. Shipping to Kentucky. The cost we paid was $12.81. The market pays fees were $16.72. And we paid $13.83 to ship it, leaving us with a profit of $79.63. Nice, we'll take it. Yeah, man. All right, we also sold this uh, these CDs I was telling you about. Classic Treasures. Now with Vendu, you cannot. Mm. <laughs> mm, did you import those? I thought I did. I thought I did. We haven't sold any yet. I guess I didn't. Okay. I'll have to go back and do that. But that is such a little. We had fees of one twenty nine. The shipping was four thirty nine. We got it for free, and it sold for eight. So I think we made about three or four bucks. Okay, I'll do that after the fact. Yeah. Okay. How about the remote? Remote. Gotta get the right one here. Oh my gosh, we have pages of remotes. I'm just gonna. I don't know which one it was. Mitsubishi. Mi Mitsu. Here we go. This one. Yes. Okay, I wonder where this was going. It looks like a prop. Okay, Marcus sold. All in, we got $24.99. Cost of the item to us was free. The marketplace fees were $3.43, and the shipping was $3.58. $17.98 profit on a remote. Sweet. Love that. And then the equipment shirt. Equipment. So our sales aren't where we want them still, but hey... We got some today, so that's, that's right. good. Okay, we are gonna go Marcus sold. And, and we should theoretically see a little uptick in the in the coming week or two because we've been back at our daily listings for for a few days now. Yeah. We made thirty seven dollars and twenty two cents profit on that. Okay, so excluding the one little purchase, I mean the one little sale, a yep. couple bucks. So, what did we make for the day? So, we sold five things for $266.95 with a total profit of $164.99. And a little bit more with this other sale. Right. So, I guess little sales, they add up. Yeah, it's not terrible for, for one day. It's not terrible. I mean, that's what? the other thing I keep trying to remind everybody. You don't get hung up on a single day. Right. So, let's see what's happening for the month. Yeah. Month to date. Okay. That's looking a little better. 
Yeah. That's looking a little better. Let me zoom in here so everybody can see what's exactly happening. Look at that. We're over 6,000 in sales for the month already. So it's not so bad. Pretty sweet. Yep. So that just goes to show you every once in a while, you know, you need a little perspective. When in doubt, zoom out. What? <laughs> that is the hottest tip of them all. That's right, man. That's that's from, from investing and from crypto. That's what that's from. Okay. <laughs> I know nothing about either of those, but I do know that we made some sales today and I'm happy about it. And we're continuing to list. If you want to list with us at night, come join our Facebook group, the Hustle Couple Reseller Workroom. Yes. On Facebook. We would love to have you. We will see you there tonight. All right. There is another day in the life of a reseller documented for you guys it ain't pretty but here <laughs> it is you know what i'm saying that's right so again please tell your friends if you have reseller friends that need help or tips or company yeah right i love that you guys watch us while you're listing that makes my millennium yeah that's why we're doing this right yeah <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thank you guys for hanging out we will see you back here tomorrow bye bye